Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the new ring. Yes! And we will talk about it tonight. I am Ken Chrysler, and I am Nusen Malafia. Yeah, Nusen's in the house. I'm in the house. This is the new ring, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoy it. There's some criticism that Ken Chrysler and I have with this ring. It, which is mainly the floor that surrounds the rain. And when we get a better look of it, I'll talk about it. But uh, for now, I'm not. But it's good to see uh, Samos. I can't pronounce that right. I'm sorry. Um, for Metroid, uh, great to see her. Um, she's allowed to compete in the man's match because she has robotic armor. It's fair. It's fair. So uh, don't think we're women beaters on this channel. Do not think, and don't point the blaster at us. Anyway, um, so, also, as you notice, we got a different color for the rings, and there's a car. There's a car outside. It's Mr. Black's car. He's selling it for $10,500 used. So, if anyone's interested, and that's his drum set, too. He's selling that. I don't know what... He thinks that this is eBay or something. This channel is. No one is going to buy this stuff. Okay? It's a core... Like, are you kidding me? I guess one of the other um, wrestlers will buy it, maybe. Who knows? Well, we're going to see how long they stay out there. And Ghostface, who deserves to be in this match, it's a number one contendership for the hardcore title tonight. And Ghostface uh, needs to stop dancing and just get to the ring already. And, um, yeah. He's a little bit... He's been a little bit happy lately. One of our subscribers, thanks Jimmy Yo-Yo, gave him drugs. And, I, you know, honestly, I can see it. Yeah, I can too, Ken. I, I think it's possible. You never know. You never know. Indeed. And uh, here comes Marcus Phoenix, who had an incredible... Uh, Royal Rumble debut on the channel. A lot of people praised him. They thought he was did very phenomenal. And uh, we got a lot going on tonight. We got a world title match on the line tonight as well. Um, we also got Deezer Us in action. And Clifford Welch will be here. It will be his debut on 2K17. Um, he, well, he's been on here before, but... Uh, on 2K16, though. So he will come down to the ring uh, to confront the Blue Neck. Well, uh, Blue Neck's supposed to come down there. And here comes Harabi. And this is where I'm going to complain about the floor. Because you're going to see a good shot when, first of all, he's breaking protocol. He's not allowed to have this motorcycle. But look at the floor. Look at the floor. It is Freddy Krueger's skin. What in the world? Who wants burnt flesh on the floor? Nobody does. And where is that guy going back there? He keeps on walking back and forth. There's no time to take a bath. Look at him walking across the... I don't know where he's going. There's, there's no bathrooms a mile away, which breaks protocol as well. But uh, Clifford Welch insisted that... Uh, we need a new rain and not a new bathroom. So the bathroom just got tore down. So I guess he's going to pee outside. But anyway, <laughs> Cliff, um, uh, sorry, Curious George is in the house. Great to see him. I guess the guy left. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't getting, um, he, I don't know where he went. I guess he went to pee outside. Well, he's, he's walking back there again. What in the world is wrong with this man? And uh, now, I guess that guy's leaving from outside. I, I don't know. What in the world? But anyway, I'm not I'm not caring what the fans are doing. Look, he's going. Now he's walking back. You do care, kid. You do. <laughs> what, what is this guy doing? I'm going to watch him. I'm going to keep an eye on him, but I'm going to focus on the match. He just keep on walking back and forth. <laughs> and uh, so far... Everyone seems to be doing pretty good here. Yeah, they do. And uh, curious, and look, the, the the guy is walking back now. What are they doing? And look, and the guy in the yellow is walking back now. 
What in the world, guys? Hold still. Or get some Adderall or something. Goodness gracious. But anyway, I'm trying to take my eyes off the men that are walking. This is very distracting. You know, I think we should call the law and have both of these men arrested. Okay, kid, I think you're taking it too far. Maybe. But anyway, I'm not going to pay attention to them. Even though they're in the corner of my eye right now. Uh, but <laughs> anyway, Curious George, what a nice move there. And all these, uh, all six of these people deserve a title shot. A hardcore title shot would be great. Um, and look at Ghostface and Curious George with the first elimination. Wow. Uh, Samos, uh, I, I can't pronounce it right, has been eliminated. Wow. Um, and this is a big shot. Yeah, it is, kid. Very big. Yeah, it is. And Curious George is stalking his prey. What, and, and look here, Harabi. And I thought he was going to limit. Oh, what a nice move by Curious George. Which a lot of people want to see a fight between him and Harabi. And Bigfoot as well. Who needs to come back on the channel soon. Yeah, Ken, I, I, I think it'd be a good idea. Yeah, it would. And Freddy Krueger's skin on the floor. What do you think about that, Nixon? I think it was a very bad decision by Freddy Krueger. He insisted he was one of the graphic designers on this project, but honestly, Ken, I do not know. I I do not know about his choice. I, I think it's very dark. I think we need a new floor. But tell us what you think, subscribers, because I'm ticked off. And Colossus has bit the dust. It's down to four. Wow. I did not expect eliminations this quick. Uh, of course, we spent all day trying to get the entrances out. Which there's going to be a lot. Oh, and look here. Curious George. Another elimination. Harambe. Man, Harambe got screwed again. <laughs> yeah, he did. And look here. Oh, my goodness. And look at Ghostface going for the elimination here on Marcus Phoenix. And uh, look here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and Ghostface. And, and Curious George. But look here. Look here. Ghostface. Thumb to the neck. Oh, my goodness. And Ghostface wins. He will face Mewtwo again. Oh my goodness. What a match. And Ghostface. It's just been incredible. Yeah, he has, kid. It's been very good. He has been very good. Oh my. And Ghostface has came out the winner. And the next match will uh, be here. I believe um, we're going to see... Uh, um, Mewtwo and Michael Myers take on Deezer Us. Yes, we are. The Hardcore Champ and the, um, the Hardcore Champ and, uh, who else? Oh, my goodness! Oh, and here they go again. And look here! Come on, guys! You're losers! <laughs> I don't know how Mewtwo didn't notice them. I don't know either, and here comes Myers, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm surprised it wasn't another handicap. By the way, Mercury Morris is injured. So, who knows when the Hunters are going to have their... Look at that floor. Oh my goodness. The floor's terrible. Freddy Krueger should be fired. He should be. Um, anyway, crossbones with the DDT. And Harambe is going to get a, a, not Harambe, goodness, I'm losing my mind. Ghostface um, is going to get a ladder, uh, I mean, uh, goodness, a table, a T-A-B-L-E, -A, a table here. I don't know what is wrong with me. Did I say Ghostface? Stay Puff Marshmallow. <laughs> goodness gracious. And um, here we go. It's Stay Puff versus Michael Myers. Crossbones versus Mewtwo. Um, and look at Mewtwo with these kicks on Stay Puff. Beautiful. And uh, honestly, 
Um, I don't know if this makes a great tag team. Clifford Welch wanted it due to the fact that um, he thinks that uh, it would be a, a good fight. Um, but we, honestly, we need a tag to stop These Are Us. They were very successful at, um, well, I wouldn't call it successful, but they were pretty successful at, a, <laughs> oh my goodness, what is wrong with me, Newsom? Well, you're recording at 8 in the morning. It's 8 in the morning. Oh, yeah, that's right. We we were forced to get up at 6 in the morning by Clifford Welch. So thanks, Clifford. Thanks. But anyway, and look at Cro uh, look at Stay Puff. Oh, my goodness. And now Crossbones now is about to go for a jump as well. Yes, he is. Look there. Oh, man, they're dominating. They are dominating now. Yeah, they are, Ken, and I'll tell you, it's not looking good for our uh, Michael Myers and you, too. It is not. It is not looking good at all. And uh, looks like um, Stay Puff has a table up. And um, I don't know what's going to happen here. Uh-oh. Michael Myers. Oh, no. Oh, man. Didn't break. But Newsom's foot will break through it. Yeah, I hear you, Ken. I, I still don't get it till this day. <laughs> I don't either. And the ref's out. By the way, uh, we have a, a new referee. Uh, you didn't notice it. The, the last match. His name is Joey. It's great to have him here tonight. He's already took a hit. Um, but Bob is injured. Uh, and if you didn't watch subscriber night, the Blue Deck did it. Oh, man. And Stay Puff landing on Mewtwo's back. It's like 380-some pounds on your back. I can't even imagine it. And look at uh, Crossbones here on Michael Myers. And Stay Puff going for a uh, F5. And um, a kick out by uh, Michael Myers. And Stay Puff is, uh, might go for a finisher here. Crossbones just made Michael Myers bleed. And look here, Stay Puff Marshmallow, the F5, on the table, on the table, and here we go, here we go, and a kick out. Wow. Competitors, these competitors are definitely good against Stay Puff and Crossbones, but they have no chemistry, and Joey takes another hit. Poor Joey. <laughs> look at Stay Puff with the big miss there. Um, and look at, oh man, the clothesline. The deadly clothesline is in the house again. And here comes Crossbones with the, that um, another good move there. Huh. Can't stand them, but they're good. You know, they're, they, and they don't, they never had chemistry, Newsom. They never had anything. I mean, and they turned out, look how good they turned out. So, um, looks like Michael Myers is going after Stay Puff here. And, uh, Let's see. Oh, look at you too, that. Look here, a submission. A submission. And and Stay Puff's down. I don't know if it's going to work. And Crossbones escapes. Wow. That is crazy. And now it looks like uh, you 2 and Michael Myers are taking back of control here. And Stay Puff. And uh, watch out, you 2 Watch out. Uh oh, Stay Puff, look here. Who is the strongest link of this team, I believe. And uh, and look look at this. He's going for a pin. I don't know if it'll work. No, it didn't work. And uh, we're back again. With Michael Myers and versus Stay Puff and Mewtwo versus Crossbones. Who's... Uh, um, I'll tell you, these are us. That was one of the most shocking wins ever. Now, I will remind you, they cheated. They definitely cheated. Even though it's Extreme Rules match, that's cheating. There, In my book, that is cheating. It's absolute cheating. And um, no one no one paid a price for it or nothing. Uh, Clifford Welch says he's, he's going to put together a team if Michael Myers and you two can't do it. Um, but this would look good if they could. I mean, they could go for a tag team title here. I don't know what they're going to call themselves. And look there. Oh, man. What a nice move by Mewtwo. I almost said nice Mew. 
<laughs> yeah, kid, it's been a very good match. Oh, and look here. Yeah, but Stay Puff's right on it. He's right on it there. And Stay Puff, Marshmallow, look at this. Look at this submission. He's trying to break Mewtwo's arm. Doesn't work there, though. Mewtwo escaped it. And now look at Michael Myers. And Crossbones is trying to... Uh, yeah, he breaks it up. Wow. What a nice move by Crossbones. Yeah, Ken, he's doing a very good job tonight. He is. And, and Crossbones now um, going after Michael Myers, throwing him back in the ring. And look at Mewtwo going for the pin. But it won't, it will not work. Uh, it's too, um, it was way too long to wait on that. And look here, Stay Puft Marshmallow. Stay Puft Marshmallow. Oh my goodness, look at these power slams. And look at Crossbones, he's in control as well. He's in control as well. And uh, Stay Puft's going for the pin. It could be over. And another kick out. Wow. And Joey doesn't even realize the other pin until now. He's getting slow to these pins. And, but look at Stay Puft. The F5 is locked in again. And look here. He's going right into the pin. And this could be over. And Stay Puff and Crossbones defeat Michael Myers and Mewtwo. What a big win. And without help. Wow. I can't believe they didn't have help. <laughs> yeah, good. And uh, Clipper Bucks demanded no managers. Yeah, I'm surprised Sweet Tooth didn't come out there and uh, help him out like he did last time. Of course, they did start off two on one, but Michael Myers quickly came down to the ring. And Stay Puff with the F5, that, that locked it in. It locked the win in there. Wow. And both these two, once again, shock us. They are really good at what they do. They're absolutely good. And we're going to have a title match up next. The Freak and Vortox will meet in a WWE World Title match. It's a ladder match. So you better be prepared. Yeah, kid, it's going to be very good. Very good. It is. And here we go. And we are about to see the Freak tonight. Clifford Welch demanded that Vortox, due to his uh, being absent from the uh, matches, that he must tonight uh, participate in a world title match, which I'm very interested in seeing. I think it's going to be very good. Yeah, I do too, Ken. I think it's going to be a very good match. Um, I can't wait to see these two go at it. It's going to be very good. Yeah, and the freak is here. Um, he returned a few weeks ago. It was a shocking return. A lot of people loved it. Um, the fact that uh, he got involved and uh, fought These Are Us pretty good. Still restraining the order by Daniel the D, by the Freak. So we're going to see what happens here. And uh, Vortox, who is our WWE World Heavyweight Champion, is here tonight. Retained at Fast Lane. What a great performance by him. Uh, came back, uh, took out a Cynthia Cell member. He always has good pay-per-views. He always has very good. He always does very good at the pay-per-views. But Cliff Welch demanded tonight he must put his world title on the line. And the World WWE World Championship is on the line. So you better be ready for this one. It's a ladder match. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man, the Freak's starting off really good. Now, let me just go ahead and tell you this. Clifford Welch demanded the Freak to face Vortox tonight. Now, whether he can do uh, pull off the win or not in this new ring and this new era, I would call it a new era, um, is is very hard to determine. But the Freak, the freak repeatedly told Clifford Welch, I'm not ready for this world title. But Clifford Welch demanded that the fans would want it. So, is it really what the fans wanted? Really? 
Um, I don't think so. So, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. And I know Captain Falcon's got a title shot. He told Clifford Welch that he wasn't going to even do it until, until the demon is done. So, Captain Falcon still has a match with the world champion. But he, he, he has declared already that he is not going to fight four times. He says he doesn't have a chance. And you know what? I kind of believe him. <laughs> um, the Freak does have a chance, however. But um, Vortox has been on fire lately, literally. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, Ken. <laughs> uh, well, I had to do it. You know I had to. But look at the Freak. It's not a good idea. Look here. Vortox already um, already uh, taken the Freak off the ladder. And um, Wow. This is, and look at the DDT here. Four talks with a powerful DDT. And uh, now he has an opportunity to get this title here. Yeah, he's got a big one, kid. Yeah, he does. And uh, Vortox already going for the title here. And what is he doing? He's just waiting for the freak. I don't know why. Oh, maybe so he can catch him off guard. But the freak, it looks like, and Vortox with the punch. This is intense. This is intense. And look here, Vortox is uh is going for the I don't know what he's trying to do. And oh man, look at the freak here. Look at the freak. They're just battling back and forth. I don't what is the freak doing? And look here, again, another hit by the freak. I don't know what he's trying a uh, hit by Vortox. And look here. What is this? Oh man. And and Vortox throws the freak off. Wow. And look here. Vortox is going. Trying to get the uh, um, title here. He's not doing a great job, though. Missed three dots in a row. There, he's got one. Uh, he's got another. It's getting faster. Missed that one. And here comes the freak again. And Vortox is, is trying to get... Oh, look at the freak, though. The freak is already... Um, it, oh man, oh man, look at these strikes! Goodness! Wow! And Vortox, oh, what is he doing? Oh, man! What is this? Goodness gracious! And look here, a DDT. I think it's done. Oh my goodness! We have never seen Vortox on this kind of level before. The Freak is a great athlete. He said he wasn't ready, but Honestly, Vortox is doing... Um, look here, he's not going for the title. Yeah, he knows the Freak's going to just get up. Yeah he, yeah, he does. And look at the Freak. Uh-oh. Here we go. Anything can happen on these ladder matches. Let me remind you all. And look here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look here. Oh, my. Oh, my. And, yeah, we're going to get a replay. Oh my goodness! Call the law! What was that? It was deadly, kid. Yeah. Um, oh man. And the Vortox didn't mean to go out of the ring there. Dumb controls. Um, and look here. The Vortox is going for the, the title here. And it looks like, uh, uh oh. And the Freak, once again, he's fast. And look at him uh, taking it to Vortox. And Vortox, though, look at these strikes. Wow. They're, I'm telling you, it's not looking good for the Freak. Yeah, but Vortox is having trouble getting this belt down. He is having trouble. But look, he's now he's, now he's taking advantage. And another strike. He's almost there. Oh, a miss there. And, uh, Vortox, uh-oh, he knows the Freak's coming back up. So look here. Oh, man. Look at these strikes. Goodness gracious! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the Freak needs to just push the ladder. <laughs> yeah, he does, but he may not be strong enough. I, I don't know why he wouldn't be. Yeah, it's done. What in the world? Vortox wins. Wow, I think I think the freak the freak was right. He wasn't ready. 
He was not ready at all. And um, ladies and gentlemen, next up, Clifford Welch and the Blue Neck will meet face to face. This is going to be incredible. Um, now the Blue Neck's not allowed to touch Clifford. We know that. We know that for a fact. And uh, it's going to be a great one to see here. And uh, Vortox retains the title. Wow. Kind of a disappointment. But the Freak didn't have a chance. We need someone really good. And the Freak needs to train harder. He just came back. He wasn't ready. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what you have been waiting for. And by the way, that's Mr. Black's drum set as well. He, he, not only does he have his used car out here, he has his drum set. But here comes the Blue Neck. He's mad as can be. He doesn't have a world title. He's fed up. He's going to call out Clifford Welch tonight. And this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it is, kid, and I can't wait to see this. I wouldn't advise this. I wouldn't either. This is going to be the craziest thing Blue Neck's ever done yet. I don't know. Last week was bad. Clifford Welch, get out here now and face the Blue Neck. I am sick of this company. I am sick of these subscribers. I'm sick of all of you. I'm sick. And I'm tired of seeing you. I have had enough with this channel. Come out now, Clifford Welch. I demand it. I demand it now. I am the greatest wrestler of all time. There's no doubt about it. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes Clifford Welch. He is has returned. And oh goodness, this is going to be very interesting. And uh, Clifford Welch... Oh, uh, he's, he's not very happy, um, but, but yeah, again, it looks like he changed, uh, cut his beard, um, cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, he did for the manager position, um, and I don't know why he punched himself. He's acting like Daniel the D. Uh, but anyway, but anyway, uh, uh, here we go. We're about to hear Clifford Welch. Oh, my goodness. Right now, I would like you to shut your mouth. And I would just like to first of all say this, you're going to be in a match. And if you lose, if you lose, you're done. That's right, you're done. You're going to be fired. So you better be prepared for the match that is to come forward to. You better look forward to it. Because as of now, boys, cut the lights. What, what in the world is this? And look here. Oh my goodness, Blue Neck! And look here, Bryson Clay, Vicious Swag! And look here, ladies and gentlemen! What in the world's this? A handicap match on the Blue Neck! Oh no, kid, I feel this pain! And look here, oh no! What in the world? And ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have Vicious Swag and Bryson Clay versus the Blue Neck. It's a handicap match, but look at the Blue Neck here. The Blue Neck is taking them. What in the world? Wow. And look here, the Blue Neck. This is a signature. Wow. And now he's got to deal with Bryson, though. Oh, man, look at Bryson Clay. We don't know a lot about this man. We just know he's very deadly. And uh, it's not looking good. for. Uh, but look here, right when I said it. Oh, man. And, uh, oh, the, the finisher on Vicious Swag. Oh, my goodness. And Blue Neck is on fire. And look at the Blue Neck with the punches. And he's taken both of them so far. He's better watch out for Vicious Swag here. Uh-oh. Vicious Swag's got the moves in now. Oh, this is intense. Yeah, kid, but, oh, this is going to be a very good one. Yeah, but look at the Blue Neck. Wow, this is just incredible. Look at Bryson Clay. Crap! Now, you know what? I, I don't like the Blue Neck. There's no doubt about that. But this is uncalled for. This is abuse of power. I don't care who you are. I know a lot of people don't, don't like the Blue Neck or whatever. But this is abuse of power. 
This can happen to anybody. Yeah, kid, but uh, uh, he crossed it hard last week. He did. Um, even a couple of subscribers, uh, uh, one subscriber said he should be suspended. Yeah, but this is an I quit match. So uh, he's got to win against both of these guys. But if there's someone to do it, it's him. Yeah, look here. He's doing pretty good. Oh, broad kick. Oh, my goodness. The blue deck is out of the game. Oh, and a finisher again on Vicious Swag. And um, uh, he seems to be having problems with Bryson Clay, though. And look here. Oh, look at Bryson Clay. Oh, my goodness. And oh, man. He took out Pennywise weeks ago. Put him in a coma. The doctors say Pennywise is doing better, though. Yeah, but it's not looking good for Brunek. Yeah, it isn't. Vicious Swag and both him and Bryson Clay double teaming the Brunek here. That's how you beat him. You got to double team him. You got to stay on him at all times. We still don't. Uh, Bryson Clay is not a part of Melissa's asylum, but he might as well be at this point. I didn't doesn't wear the hoodie, doesn't wear the gear. Uh, we don't know a lot about Bryson Clay, but look at the blue neck. We know a lot about him and his greatness. And look here, he's back at it again. And he's got a finisher. He's got a finisher. No, a signature here. And look at the signature here. Locked in on Bryson Clay. And now he might try his finisher on vicious swag here, and he does. My goodness. Call the wall! Wow! And Blue Neck here! And a kick out by Vicious Swag. And now he's going after... But yet again, Bryson Clay. Yeah, he, he seems to be having trouble with Bryson Clay. Yeah, but look there. Right when you said that, Newsom. That's why they brought him instead of Bobo. Bobo would have been much easier. And look there. Separation now. This is a genius. Oh, but look, Blue Neck falls or something. But fell on the. Uh, fell on the. He slipped. He, he was trying to go for a little kick or something, and he slipped. But Bryson Clay's. Look at him, showing off. Not a good idea. Not a good idea. On the Blue Neck, especially. But he's still not up. Oh, look at the Blue Neck here. But reversal again by Bryson Clay. Taking advantage here. And look at Vicious Swag with his finisher. Wow. Oh my goodness. This could be the end for the Blue Neck. No one is out here to defend him. But the Blue Neck kicks out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to take a lot more than that. And Vicious Swag. Look at that. And, uh... Vicious Swag's taking advantage here. And a nice reversal by the Blue Neck. And, but the Blue Neck's having trouble getting up. And look here. Uh-oh, he's at it again. He's at it again. Wow. Yeah, it's not over, kid. And a kick to Vicious Swag. Vicious Swag's done, maybe. Oh, my goodness. And if he could get the pin on Vicious Swag, it could be over. Bryson Clay's down. Oh my goodness. And here we go. A kick out. Oh my. But look at Blue Neck. Still taking it to him. And look here. I don't know about this move, kid. It gives Vicious Swag time to recover. Yeah, and it's an easy reversal by Bryson Clay. And look here. Bryson Clay. Oh my goodness. And here we go. And, and Blue Neck got the rope break. Oh my goodness, and look at the blue neck. He might break out. And look out! Oh, oh! Oh no! What? Blue neck has been fired. Oh my goodness! One of the best wrestlers is done! And he fought hard. But the fight wasn't good enough. Oh my goodness. I can't believe Clifford Welch made this move. A suspension is one thing. They, the Blue Neck has been terminated. Oh, man, we're going to get backlash for this one. Some praise, probably, but some backlash as well.
call the law. Abuse of authority. This is anarchy on the channel. Now, there's no doubt Blue Neck deserves a suspension, but he has been fired, ladies and gentlemen. Fired! What are we going to do now? And these two can do it again. So can Cliff Welch. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't believe my eyes.